Our text is Matthew chapter 2. As a matter of fact, that's going to be the whole chapter. At, <clears throat> I'm not saying we're going to get through the whole chapter today, but it is Matthew chapter 2 is what we're going to be on. And um, I tell you, this world is a mess, isn't it? And I, I tell you, things are getting bad. I mean, it's not just New York City. It's, it's everywhere. It's, it's in Ocala. It's anywhere you go anymore. It's just a mess, just lawlessness, everything else. I heard that uh, downtown Ocala, a midget. Somebody pickpocketed a midget. How can you stoop so low? Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, just kind of, I, I, they say I always have an attention getter. I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's have a word of prayer and we'll get started here to our message for today. Father, thank you for the opportunity to delve into your word again today, Lord, and just show us more about our Savior. Show us more about living the Christian life. And may there be someone here today that they're without Christ. This will be the day they receive him in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Now, there have been things that have been said about the wise men. Uh, for example, we three kings of Orient are, well, uh, probably weren't three. Probably much more than that, okay? And, uh, but I, I think that probably started because they said, well, <clears throat> gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So three gifts, so there were only three men. That's what the thought is. Maybe that's uh, a logic, but it's not really a, a completed right.